It wasn't hot. Hello everyone, I'm Hachi. In this video, you will be repairing a heat gun. This machine was sent by fans in Anhui. I've been here for about a week. He asked me to help me take a look. My electricity and my heat gun don't heat up anymore. What is the situation? It just so happens that I don't fix much on this thing. This video is open. Take a look at it, fix it. By the way, let's talk about the construction and principle of the heat gun. It's exactly the same as the machine we use to blow our hair. It's just that the temperature is a little higher. The temperature of the hair drying machine is lower. Let's look at the rear. Here is a gear adjustment. There are one, two, three, the amount of air and its temperature. In front of it is an iron head. It can't be plastic for plastic words. It's going to burn out. Now we're going to take the screws and take the machine apart. Let's take a look at one of the internal structures after reading it. Let's think about how to fix it. Everyone knows that we have a brush drill and the motor in it is called a 550 motor. And this small motor is even smaller than the 550 motor. It's a 365 motor. It's very simple. Part of this is the principle of heating. Let's take it apart in a moment. This motor performs a blow underneath is a temperature controlled board and a gear shifting board. Let's go take this down now. Let's look at this motor. You can see inside this section. I Everyone should know what it's called. It's its heating core. It's a lot of the kind of heating stuff that we used to use old fashioned. What electric stove wire, what kind of, that's it. The place conducts a blow. The front is carried out with a fever and then the wind blows that is hot. Isn't it simple fever? Whether it is hot or not depends on it. Let's turn it on now, take it down. Look at this place. It was exactly the same as the old ones we used to heat inside the radiators and the water stoves. Electric stove wire here after the electricity is turned on. This place will burn red, you know, and then blow the wind through it, and it will become hot after it is such a simple principle. If it doesn't heat it, it's broken. You say, let's fix it. How can we fix it? We can only be bad. Now, let's stop this episode. I'm going to buy one now. I'm going to send one, and I'm going to see what this is. I spent 18 wen online to buy this item. When everyone's breaks, if you want to save some hassle, you can DIY and open it to change. It's very simple. Let's take a look. We can just solder the three wires onto it. Let's check this first. I haven't looked into it yet. These three spots, let's follow the shape of a gourd and solder it. This area is black and then the red and blue ones are soldered separately in this area. Let's change and follow the gourd shape now. Let's solder these three wires. Let's try it out. How do I try it? I guess I'll just shove it in and test it. I can't try it. I want to touch it. It's so hot. Can't try it. I want to put it inside, but I can't hold it. I can't hold this here. Can't get it here. Let's put it back now and close the machine. Next, we'll test whether it heats up or not after adjusting. This is what it looked like at that time. This is what was replaced. Let's see why the shell won't burn out. It's because there's a support circle. You see, there's only a tiny iron bucket next to this hot air. This here is made of plastic, so it is completely separated from this shell. But after a long period, inevitably there will still be situations where the shell gets burnt out. Now let's cover it and screw it tight and test it again after installing. Let's start testing. What we saw at the beginning was that the toilet paper wasn't changing at all and the color didn't change. It should be on fire or will turn yellow. Now let's open the repaired one and wait for a moment. We see that there is already smoke. The temperature has come up. Let's use this thermometer to measure it. 184 degrees. 184 degrees. It's still heating up. Try again. Already 237 degrees. I don't dare touch this with my hands. I'll be in trouble. Thank you, everyone. It's not difficult. If it doesn't spin, we need to find the problem in the control panel and the motor. If it doesn't heat up, there's only one reason. We need to change the heating core. 